an iconic actor revealing a secret struggle that people watching him would never have known about. Henry Winkler says dyslexia caused him to stumble over scripts, struggle with spelling and basic math, and he wasn't diagnosed until the height of his fame playing the Fonz on the hit 70s show Happy Days. Henry Winkler is with us live to talk about his memoir. Henry, I am so happy to see you. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Let's talk a little bit about the dyslexia to start. You weren't diagnosed until your mid-30s, so what finally helped you to connect the dots? I'll tell you exactly. My, uh, my stepson was in the third grade. Uh, we took him to visit the Hopi Nation in Arizona. He was studying Native Americans. He had to write a report. He couldn't do it. It was smudgy. I said everything to him that was said to me. You're not living up to your potential. You're being lazy. You're so verbal. You can do it. He couldn't do it. We had him tested. Everything they said about him was true about me. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm not stupid. I have something with a name. Was it a relief to finally understand why you were struggling? Uh, it, it was a relief, but I wouldn't tell you, the first thing I felt was anger mm. because I was humiliated and I was yelled at, I was punished, and this brain was wired differently. It wasn't going to get it. So that's number one. Then I thought, okay, I've got it. Now I have to try and negotiate it because it doesn't go away. Number three, I don't know if I would be sitting here talking to you today if I didn't have this struggle to go through and make me um, filled with tenacity. Mm -hmm. When you were first cast as the Fonz, you were initially scripted yes. as a secondary character. And then, you know, yes. as they say, you stole the show. Why do you think people connect so deeply with that character? You know, I, that's hard for me to say. All I know is I had fun. So maybe they saw me having fun. I added that he was loyal to his friends. Uh, he was a person I wanted to be. He was the hero I needed. If I was scared, I could always call the Fonz. <laughs> Richie and Ralph and, and, and uh, Potsy could always call the Fonz. Henry, you've done so much more since then. What, is there any one thing you can point to that you are most proud of? The books that I write I never thought my name would be on a book in my life, let alone being Henry uh, from the Fonz and beyond. I, I have to say, outside of my family, my children, my grandchildren are puppies. Uh, my books, the, the, the fact that I've written them, co-written them with a partner, I am out of my mind. Henry, one last reason to be proud, I, you know, I interviewed you probably 15 years ago. I think you might have been the first celebrity I inter ever interviewed. And I know countless other people who have connected with you at various events over the years. And everybody has said uniformly across the board that you are one of the nicest people that they have ever met. And so we thank you for always being so kind to others and for kindly taking the time to talk to us today. Do you know what I am? I swear and I thank you so much for that. I am just grateful for being on the earth. And out of that comes, I just enjoy being here. Oh, what a great, great life lesson for everybody. Henry, it's been so nice to connect with you again. Thank you so much. I look forward to again. Again, again. Being Henry, the Fonz and Beyond is on sale now and wherever, wherever books are sold. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.